Welcome back to Masters Madrid, and our final match of the Swiss stage is about to go underway. When we arrived to Madrid, we just started feeling, oh, it's this moment when our form goes down. We just feel like, oh, guys, our decision is not good, uh, our aim is not good. Both teams here looking to move past their opponent in this competition. It's going to be Carmine Core going up against Paper X. Such high hopes for Carmine Core coming into this. The shining stars of EMEA. I think KC will win this okay. match. I cannot see this going any other way. KC has to make it onto the playoffs. I think we were better than a lot of the teams there, but we just didn't like show it. I can't believe it! Defending. Paper X beating Carmine Core. Heartbreak for KC. It's kind of the sign for me that we set too high standards for ourselves. C'est potentiellement ce contre quoi on s'est battu tout reste de la saison finalement. It was like just like a ticking time bomb almost. It, it's a bit of a heartbreaker uh, for for Carmine Corp, but it's not an indication of this team. And this is the turning point for KC. Mm. Will it be like EMEA kickoff where they take that loss, they learn from it, and they go on a run from there on out? They just didn't feel like KC, and that was, I think, the, the most concerning thing. You see how much they invest into this. We all know that we could have been like a really insane team. You need to always aim to be like one of the best. Uh, and we were, at some point, we were. Carmine Corp! Go all the way! The more you try to find answers, the more you kind of drown. You think you are doing the right choice, and in the end you don't do it. Losing now wouldn't hurt as much if we didn't win kickoff. When you keep losing, it affects you in the game. For the rookies, on their first year, it's a bit like that everyone plays for the next year. And in that match, I felt like, yeah, I was guilty. If you fixate on mistakes, that's over for you. This is like change. It was almost like irreversible. No, I can't. I can't. You got it? Okay. So Magnum is leading? Yeah. Wait. Can I? You need to see Magnum. He's the leader for the thing. One, two, three. I'm going to get on. Sure. One, two, three. Quand on rebuild comme ça, tu as plusieurs choix en général dans les jeux. Soit tu rebuildes autour de joueurs clés qui sont des grosses stars, soit tu rebuildes autour d'un coach qui est emblématique et qui vit à terminer des joueurs. Il n'est pas même fait ça. Il est venu. Il est venu. Ok. Second time in a row together. Let's do it. Par rapport à Heng, était, il était dans la shortlist des, dans les coachs potentiels. Donc on a beaucoup discuté avec lui. Euh, et le fit, il était vraiment euh, très rapide. Et euh, on était aligné sur comment on se voyait euh, build de nouveaux roster. We are, we are so close to the camera when we talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, that kind of person, maybe, I really like challenges. Uh, I want to try and change many things here. First step is just we go like the, the classic check-in. We say, yeah, we feel today uh, what we want to achieve. I had like some ideas when I woke up, like what I want to like try today. So I want to try that. I'm excited for it. Notre but was to rebuild on the future. Donc euh, on a pris des joueurs qui sont euh, parfois moins expérimentés euh, que d'autres et euh, très jeunes. He's laughing when he's muted. Uh... <laughs> uh, focus for today uh, is to like as Eng said yesterday like to give like my best uh, like in situation like in these situations we are right now. Remember to address the feedbacks to the right people and in the right timing and when in the right way also. I want to build a team that will be very attractive for viewers. So it means we're going to be, game style, we're going to be very aggressive. Going into this season, I was very fascinated by this KC team. It was the one of the most interesting rosters. And before this year, he is one of the most successful coaches we've ever had. Don't give this guy a chance to talk. He's deadly. The anti-strat is outrageous. I present to you your Masters Berlin Champions. He is just dreading the teams so well when it comes to personal performance. How are you supposed to win against this? That's what I mean. How are you supposed to win? So impressive. <laughs>
Back on Gamba, he picked up three jewelers players. That should not be a thing that works. I don't know how they do it, but they do it again. He, he picked people for a reason. And he made the very conscious decision of taking somebody from NA, taking somebody from the Italian league, taking somebody from uh, the Portuguese league, who all play the same role. <laughs> keeping Shin, keeping Zeish, and then bringing in Magnum as an IGL, that for me, what it just screamed, he has a plan. It might be a risky plan, you know? It might not work uh, right off the bat. It, it, it might take some time. Okay, let's do it again. Nice, and cross your arms. All the fans. No, look at the camera. Go, 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 go. Regain the respect that they lost last year. How's the fox? <laughs> we are the proper one, but guess what? It's like my dog. I ate it during the night. I'm actually stressed out because I will see Andre Shalonko for the first time. Yeah. I think it's I think it's good. Thank you. Yeah. We have we have handles. Now you should hold it up. Should I put it here? No, you should put I think it here. Well, huh? Okay, let's go guys. <laughs> Au début le l'objectif principal c'était d'avoir une équipe solide d'air, de joueurs qui se connaissent bien, qui se comprennent et euh, qui euh, ont une une identité euh, commune. En parallèle de bah, même pour nous en fait en tant que staff d'apprendre à vivre et à, et à comprendre en fait les nos joueurs eux-mêmes. So Ink is coming. We are excited to bring him into the team uh, in real life. We have like a quite new team, uh, like a lot of players which uh, were not in Tier One, and uh, main focus was uh, bringing in Yuan as a performance coach. How to work uh, as a team in terms of like goals. We're gonna talk about how we can set a goal as a team. Also, can we quickly remind what we've learned in terms of goal fixation? Why we are we are saying this goal, then, right? Mm -hmm. Then how we want to like the things we want to do to achieve. To achieve that goal. Dès que tu rentres dans une équipe, tu te dis bon, on a des, on a ces personnes qui passent un max de temps ensemble, mais ils n'ont pas la même vision de ce qui se passe. Parce qu'on est compétiteurs, mais qu'on a tous bah, expérimenté la compétition d'une manière différente, on ne va pas euh, se représenter les situations de la même manière. Et donc, euh, il faut absolument qu'on mette en place des exercices qui prennent des habitudes de discussion. Enfin, c'est un des challenges pour mon travail, c'est de pouvoir nous, nous asseoir tous ensemble et se dire je sais ce que mon coéquipier se dit par rapport à ce qui se passe en ce moment. On est tous en train de se battre pour la même cause, on va dire. What do you think? is one of our goals in this team. I just said we should be a goal for us to be more efficient in advantage situations and in communication. So, Ugh. I wrote the main goal and I think it's to qualify for Masters. I think everyone here believes on that and I'm talking about myself, but I think everyone believes. In the beginning, obviously when this roster was formed, Magnum everybody already knew, but even with Magnum, there were question marks. I thought about who should be in this team who should be IGL here? As you, right now, you know, we choose uh, Magnum. For me, it was my father. He brought uh, Call of Duty 1 to our house, and I was like four or five. I sneaked up on the PC, and I started playing Call of Duty 1, and this is like kind of my first game. When I was like 13, 14, that's when I started like playing CSGO, and I kind of, I found out you can actually live uh, by playing the games. When Valorant came out, this is a part of time like I used to go through a lot of problems in terms of my family. It kind of had an effect on me. I set up a goal. I'll give it all to become a pro player. It was very easy to choose. I'm not gonna lie. He insane in many aspects, and I I feel like he's a mega exceptional player, and people underestimate him a lot. D'un point de vue casu, Cassé avait pris trois no-name et Magnum. Magnum avait été chez Fnatic, donc teammate de Boaster, etc. à l'époque. Hein, Fnatic 2021-2022, il jouait Sentinel. I think that was like probably the most stressful period of my life. Because I was just scared. Like I was scared to play bad, I was scared to make mistakes. But once you experience being benched, uh, it, it shows you weaknesses. You kind of figure out that, okay, well, I need to step it up in this. Being benched doesn't mean my career is over, you know? People kind of felt like, why him as an IGL? You know, there's other choices. Um, he's obviously going to have to have a lot of new responsibilities as well. And also, I feel like because he wanted this, you know, he obviously was very keen. He wanted to come in, he wanted to be the IGL, he wanted to do some new things. 
he even wanted to reject some offers from tier one teams to be uh, IGL in tier two. That's how strong he wanted to be IGL. For him, it was like IGL, it's like his future, let's say. One, two, three. For me, that was uh, like, like a sign again. Like, oh, yeah, I wanna uh, pick him. If people are not committed, committed here, we struggle to kill and like they do this easy. And like I felt, yeah. you should be just me and my. I'm the oldest one, uh, I'm not by far. I used to be a uh, really like funny or crazy guy in past teams, but I think I got to the point where I'm trying to be more serious. So uh, it's, uh, it's a bit harder in terms of that. Uh, and as, as always, like uh, towards my role, I need to become leader in the uh, upcoming uh, year. So I'm trying to be myself, but sometimes uh, I need to think twice before I say something. We've seen it a lot in um, IGLs. They are not always so hyper-focused on their own performance. They have to worry about micromanaging. They have to worry about strats. I think they definitely have a lot of struggles in themselves. So there was even more pressure because it's not, he wasn't forced to, you know, into this role. But I feel like right now he, it's now or never, you know, for him. People, they're going to be watching him. They're going to be waiting for him to see, can he actually pull this off? La prépa de Valorant, ça demande énormément de temps. C'est super bien à suivre, mais au bout d'un moment, tu as envie de voir ce que tu prépares en action. Uh, goal. Make giants not look too giant, yo. Hi. <laughs> uh, I want us like to be happy and enjoy the moment because uh, we are zero. 0.0001 in the world that has like this type of opportunities. So enjoying the moment and like being happy is one of the important things. So, yeah. I think some of the veteran players, you know, they're burnt out a little bit, they're tired, maybe they're not fully committed, motivated anymore. Whereas you have these young players who have probably started gaming when they were a, a kid that's um, never thought that they could make it to tier one, never thought they could actually make this a career. And they come here and you can see them, they're so excited, they're so enthusiastic. The hard moment and like the hard feelings were during the preparation. Now the preparation is finished, we go on stage, we just like have fun like we are having every day. We talk to each other like, like we talk every day, we try to make jokes, we don't change anything because now it's the time like that everything is finished and like the job is done already. So like we don't have to think about like the job. Me personally, I've never played on LAN. So I'm really excited to play on stage, obviously. I think playing together like next to each other is really important because when you're online, you don't really like, you kind of like dehumanize them. Like they're just like a player in the game rather than like a human. So I think it's really important to like have that like human to human connection. One, two, three. No, it's just no, guys, today, remember, we do the what's the color on stage. I want to say Kino What's the color? Que no se pan el pancarmen. I said, what the color? Blue, 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 let's go. It's a group. En fait, ils sont insouciants, ils ont juste envie de gagner, ils sont heureux là où ils sont, ils, sont, ils pensent à rien, ils veulent juste jouer, tu vois, ils ont tous entre 18 et 21 ans. Yo, yo, put us out, 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 put us out. When it comes to the format, I think for teams winning EMEA is a really big deal. It's a nice bonus, but everybody wants to make it to international events. So for this year, the first one was Madrid, and that was what kickoff was all about. Everybody was trying to qualify. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the opening day of VCT EMEA. We're coming to you live from the Riot Games Arena here in Berlin, Germany. When I look at the tier list of how people talk about our roster, there are people who are hyped. People are in mode, well, it's a young roster, so we won't wait to see who wins the Champions League year one. We try as much as possible to not focus on the last season, but we know that we need, like, we just have to for the club and for the fans to play better than we did. When you're a young player, when you're aggressive, when you're still insouciant, when you're too young, when you're coming, you have an opportunity to win in VCT. You can profit of that. I don't want to put the pressure on them, but when I play a thing, it's to win. So now, you just have to make our little fool face to kill on the server, that's all. It kind of sucks that like we practice for so long just to like instantly be in like really important matches that we have to win. 
and it's not like a season. But I think it'll just be more competitive. I'm gonna make Giants look small. Everyone's gonna be like using everything like instantly and they have to win. A lot of these players, if they were lucky, maybe they would have played some lands at Ascension. But on the whole, they probably never even touched a PC on stage before. You can tell the players I like, get a little bit nervous. You know, they struggle a little bit with their in ears. Um, they take a little bit a while to get warmed up. On se donne tous les moyens, on met tout en place pour pouvoir perf et j'espère que ça va marcher et qu'on va se qualifier à Madrid parce que Madrid c'est proche de la France. Ça veut dire qu'il y aura énormément de fans cassés et on a envie de vous retrouver là-bas donc on va tout faire pour. Guys, remember, Blaine, be confident because all the time we have a rough the start of the game only if we are not confident. If you want to pick them, pick them, really, guys. Only I am responsible here for the result. You enjoy the game, really, and do your best. That's it. Hey guys, don't forget about uh, our protocols, okay? Comms. Play like in practice. Another Just practice. Focus on comms. It is time to bring out the next two teams today, Giant X and Carmichael. He does come off it. His nerves getting the better in there. He didn't want to take it too far, but Redgar. Giant X slowly, but now on the receiving end, but they get the spike down. Oh, wow. But they still have the rifles, keep in mind. They have the heavier firepower, but maybe it won't matter. Already Diffuse going to be started. That's going to drop. The Diffuse ain't stopping. Carmine Core fights nice. back. Let's go, let's go. There is time for rotations. Here comes the cavalry. Magnum straight in there, one for one. Didn't get much more until then. In a 1v2, <laughs> not going to happen. Nari turning this around. Again, the ults are starting to come through. Nookie gonna catch one, though. That's big information on both sides. But speaking of information, Martin's gonna see it all. Does he commit? It looks like he does! Wow. Oh, my God! We want an individual impact. We might have just had it. They think we are shaking. They want to pick us. So, fuck, pick them. Let's go, guys. That pillar is now just littered with bodies. The flash is fantastic! And so is Magnum. This is a masterclass from Carmine Court. A tap on the spike. Nookie wants this to half. He doesn't quite get it, though. That's unfortunate. Magnum on the pickup. This could be it. Now down to one. Nookie, how much can one man do? It's not going to be enough. Carmine Core, map one. It's theirs. I killed like two people, and then Magnum's like, chill, chill. I'm like, no. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear some people saying chill, chill. It's good like to keep the keep the calm, but Andre also the moment. I prepare my celebration for the end of the round. <laughs> Mid round. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, KC! Let's go. Let's go guys. <laughs> remember, take pleasure, guys. Guys, remember, there is no right play. There is only team play. We trust each other, okay guys? Let's go. It's dangerous in the swing and the smoke, they've denied it. And that is everything! That is huge! Work from Carmine Core! Backhands him, but flying through the air. Oh my god! Because that was okay, let's fucking go. Giant X can't catch a break. Um, now, right now, opportunity beckoning. Booty just powering forward. It's done and it's over. What a damn good game from Carmine Cole. This roster of talent, these young, hungry players coming back in on this resurgence with a couple of players with a point to prove as well. You know, this is a roster that was really brought together to, to I guess, change the tale of last season. And already, what a fantastic start. They are deadly as anything. If they continue along this trajectory, who knows how far they get. About you, man. So I can say congrats you with your first win. Uh, I feel like it's very important as IGL beat someone like Giants. You know, I don't know how things, like how, like how the future, but for now we need to enjoy it and you need to enjoy it because yeah, as a fucking IGL, first time, everybody like say, oh, this guy fucking like had like blah, 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 this, 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 but right now, you want them. Yeah, I feel like it's very like important to believe in yourself and believe in your way, how you, like, how you should lead us, believe in your IGL and your calls. I feel like that's fucking very important. And yeah, today you kind of own them, like really. Within about two days of kickoff of, of Casey playing, we called it the, the end method. And we were like, he's doing it again. Casey, seal the deal. Yes. We just had the momentum the whole way. So we just never stopped. We don't care what they are doing. We care what we are doing. <laughs> Going to be Carmen Corp with a 2 0 win against Vitality. Once they started winning, they just couldn't stop winning. Just don't give up, never give up, okay? And KC have got their spot in playoffs. Now they've pushed up the to top four in the region with a chance to take it all the way to the global stage. KC, not 
the most lucky first meet there with Fnatic. This is like the Titan. This is like the final boss. I don't think anyone in their right mind will say, yeah, Fnatic is not taking this one. They're like, you know, the golden child of EMEA. Everybody that is an EMEA fan is a fan of Fnatic. Back to back international winners. The first of their kind. Fnatic, by all rights, should have this in the bag. This roster looks untouchable, but there's something about KC that makes me nervous. He does. For the swing, the look, he takes down one, he dips away, this could be a masterclass, and it's not from Alpha! It's KC going against the odds on map one. And keep in mind, this is for Madrid. This is the game that matters. I would be super happy to qualify. I think the only thing which I can do is to focus on myself, because honestly, we are the underdogs. For him, it's very important to be good at every game. He wants to show that uh, he deserves to be here. You can feel it in the air, something is wrong, and Martin, he's taken down Durka, frag by frag. Everyone doubting in the start of the season. Sure, there was a dream where Magnum thought, you know what, one day I'll match up to the team that kicked me back to the tier two and I'll get to show them what I've got. Little did he know that dream was a little bit closer than he thought. For that, it came in, looked all right. Carmine Call looked untouchable. Welcome to the new era, folks. This is a whole new look to EMEA. You could see on the faces of these players, they wanted to be there. They wanted to play as much as they could. Winning this time is super fucking important. If we fucking win tomorrow, it's trophy. So I think we should really focus for tomorrow, try to win really hard. Yeah. By the time they beat Fnatic, it was just like, why don't we just go and win everything? Now Rain might just have them in the bag. He's walked up the smoke fades. And so too does all hope for heretics. Carmine Corp, go all the way. It is a brand new champion in EMEA. And who knows what they can do next. They were so fearless. They played like there was nothing to lose. And they played like they were having fun because I think they genuinely believed in their team. And they focused on their own identity. They focused on who they were instead of worrying about everybody else. From my experience, enjoy this moment right now. I'm not gonna enjoy because you, you, you don't know when it ends, like this moment ends. Yeah. Personne n'attendait une performance comme ça. Faire tomber Fnatic, alors que Fnatic avait quasiment tout gagné l'année d'avant. Les, les faire tomber sans même trop transpirer. Il y avait une vraie surprise et un vrai bonheur quand Magnum il se lève, euh, quand euh, ils arrivent à choper le 13e monde dans Fnatic. Bravo, un trophée. Vive un trophée. C'est ça. Un trophée. Un trophée. Un trophée. Seeing the hard work that we do backstage, it's working. Seeing like the results, it's like only giving more motivation, like to keep doing what we are doing with the staff, with Eng. Shout out to Magnum because he's working really, really hard. He is on the server. He is the one who is calling. He is the one who is having the reads. So big shout out to him for taking like this IGL role. Like, uh, oui. And yell it, yell it so hard, okay? One, two, three, KC! Let's go! Bye bye. At the beginning of the uh, team, we had zero expectation that we can win something. So that was an uh, incredible you know, feeling because we didn't expect it and we won. I'm holding you. But uh, after you winning something, you either play even much better or your performance uh, goes down. Il y a eu cette, euh, cette euh, réaction qui est assez logique, c'est que tout le monde a commencé à nous attendre. Du coup, on a commencé à travailler avec des joueurs qui euh, apprenaient à vivre avec euh, les attentes autour d'eux. Et donc avec euh, le fait d'être considéré comme une bonne équipe, et donc d'être considéré comme une équipe qui doit gagner. Je ne pense pas que personne ne peut prédire juste comment bien ils feraient et comment ils sont. Ils ont juste explosé. 
We're in Madrid. I cannot see this going any other way. Casey has to make it onto the playoffs. I think Casey will win this okay. match. 2024 might be the year for the rookies. Well, Casey should be the one trying to prove that. There's such high hopes for Carmine Core coming into this. They just look unbeatable right now. Donc tu, tu passes de on va voir euh, peut-être top 5, euh, top 6 si ça performe bien à favori pour gagner un major avec les meilleures équipes du monde à l'instant T, c'est quand même un saut de géant. Même, même dans la tête des joueurs, c'est ça qu'il faut comprendre aussi, c'est que quand tu arrives de cette mentalité d'outsider de je peux perdre, je peux perdre à je dois gagner. We just started feeling, oh, it's kind of, it's this moment when our form uh, goes down. Because we like, it's a, such a short time, like I, like I still cannot get in my mind like that, okay, we play official. So that's exactly the reason why we, I'm asking all of you to do the visualization tasks and like to sit yourself, watch your routines, watch your to, pre to prepare because we said no regret, right? So. No matter the emotions you have, no matter the mindset you are at the moment, no matter like the thoughts you can have through your mind at the moment, let them flow and focus on action. No matter the result after the match, you can say it was a good experience. We learned a lot of stuff. We can move forward. We can keep moving. As if you guys are ever feeling like you have something that we want to change in the team, like you, we're doing, you think we're doing something wrong, or we should do something different or add something new, just say it. It's really important that like if you are feeling like you're uncomfortable in a spot or you're doing this. We need to say it now because obviously we only have one day of scrims left, but we can still like think about other stuff and add stuff. Guys, get ready. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, eight. And then in the La motivation interne de vouloir montrer des choses, elle est remplie, elle est complétée. Et donc il faut à partir de ce moment-là continuer de travailler pour passer à l'étape suivante dans l'historique du groupe. Et donc là l'étape suivante c'était de comprendre ce qu'on garde de, du passé, qu'est-ce qu'on laisse dans le passé parce que bah, le passé c'est le passé et le contexte actuel il n'est pas le même que celui qu'on avait pendant le kick-off. It was first international experience so and like you know under the pressure uh, around us with top one AMA team uh, when you're playing uh, around a big audience it might be hard for us. This is what they dream about. This is why they play EMEA. You know, this is why they grind so much because they want to make it to that big stage. C'était vraiment un tournoi important et une expérience vraiment spéciale, je pense, pour nous tous. Déjà parce qu'on arrive en premier seed, un peu en tant que favori, plus ou moins, au vu des résultats qu'on avait fait au kick-off. We just felt so good qualifying to Masters, you know, as a rookie first tournament. Everyone wants to go there, and it's maybe one of the hardest uh, tournaments of this year to qualify because there's only two teams for each region. And you go there. New faces are set to make their debut on the world stage. Welcome to day one of Masters Madrid. Carmine Core will be taking on FPX. After lockdown, it's 2v2. This could be it to seal the map. They're holding, walking out. holding, walking out, hoping that they can punish, but no. Force them out into the open. No easy fights, no easy exits. That is Carmen Core. Carmen Core! It's all down to 1v1. And this is it. Again, continuation of the series. Or will it be that slam at dunk? Thomas E. Wraps it around. 20 seconds left. Spike still not retrieved. Thomas E. And it's Thomas E. Thomas E. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thomas E. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm glad uh, that we managed uh, with the fact that we were favorites because of for young teams all the time it's very hard to play, you know, because you feel like extra pressure when you favorite, I feel like. Enjoy the event, like it's uh, like even we beat underdogs, it's like yeah. One, yeah. one of the eight, one of the eight on the tournament. Me and Martin, we had a really bad game and we still managed to win. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I was going through something a few days ago. And then I lost my wallet, and uh, I was a bit depressed for a little bit. And this one made me happy, even though I didn't perform. I was happy that I could like rely on everyone, uh, support-wise and playing-wise, and it felt very good today. So good job. Literally in the space of six months, you had people that go. Who are these players? Like I've never heard of them. What are they like? What do they do? To now. Nobody is asking me who Martin is. 
I want to play every tournament, win every tournament, MVP every tournament, and uh, be a better duelist than every other team. He impressed me from, I feel like, immediately. From the first day, I remember, he just was uh, insane. Of course, he did many mistakes. Uh, like, he's still talking, like, sometimes so fast. He doesn't want without... But uh, if you have some experience, you can see potential. That's what I still see in him, like just uh, unlimited potential. I never played with Duelist, which has such uh, crazy ideas, you know, like he's uh, almost like a European Forsaken or Jink. It's just different playstyle. Si je dois penser à casser euh, et les compos un peu crazy, je pense au kick-off et je pense à Martin sur Yoru. Ça, ça a vraiment, vraiment, vraiment mis en difficulté beaucoup d'équipes. Imagine if the crowd was coming, Bobby. <laughs> Imagine if your real name, in-game name was Bobby. Yeah, I'm gonna name, I told you. <laughs> C'est un joueur flashy. Il a un très, très gros skill individuel. Je pense qu'en Europe, il n'y a personne qui joue aussi bien euh, autant de duelistes euh, que lui. Everybody's favorite player, I think, is probably a duelist player. They're the ones that are always front and center, and they play on the duelist role for a reason. They play on the duelist role because they are the person that's going to get the most kills. They cannot afford to have a poor performance. Who are you? Good. You're tired. You're sad. I didn't sleep. You didn't sleep? Because you missed me. In Madrid, it was a bit rough. It was a new experience again, international land. But I didn't expect it, but I didn't know how it's gonna feel like to play like so much on lands and stuff on stages. We were a bit not burnt out, but like, you know, when we play a lot in a row, it's kind of tiring. I felt a bit tired then, and I just couldn't perform to my standards as I wanted to. If I uh, ever have a bad game and I don't do my job as a duelist to create space, then the game is basically over if I lose my, all of my confidence. Il y a eu des, des expériences individuelles des joueurs qui ont permis quand même de, bah, à toute l'équipe de step up. On a vraiment dû se solidariser en équipe pour se dire ok, un tel vit ça aujourd'hui, on ne peut pas contrôler ça. Il faut qu'on soit là pour euh, carry euh, en attendant que lui soit prêt à, 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 être, à être prêt. Well, all I need from you is just to like even even if you're not having your like best game like we had yesterday you know what i mean like it's not it's like nowhere near your level of, like normal level of performance we still win easily like just because you're doing like your little job like every time you were in like like on ice box like you're always coming what to do on a and like we always know what we're going to do stuff like this it's like really important and i think it's really good and you've been doing a really good job on it so that's just on est dans un environnement où tout le monde fait son meilleur en permanence pour gagner donc il fallait, fallait trouver ce qui nous permettait de faire la différence en fait, en tant qu'équipe. I understand that since we came here, we have some troubles. It's normal because we are tired, but we need to come back with what was working for us and be really supportive towards each other. And I think, as I already told you and I always say, like we have something else than the other teams. Yes. We are ready to sacrifice each other for the mate next to us, and we need to not forget this tomorrow. Like we, we have to play as a, as a core. As we always been. Si tu veux vraiment passer ce, ce next step, ce next cap, d'être considéré comme une équipe vraiment impressionnante, il faut gagner face à des équipes d'autres régions, notamment NA, notamment Pacifique. It's Genji, Sentinels, or, or EDG. Tell me it's against EDG, please. We are second match, so we play at seven, and we face our dear American friend. Sentinels! Yes. yes. Marshall is going to send his American friends to... <laughs> The playoffs! The playoffs! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I checked the, like, uh, the part of the backpack, but I thought it, like, it should be enough. And you can start to focus on yourself quickly, so how you feel at the moment, based on what you did at the, during the beginning of the day. Well, at the same time, like the guys. Yeah. Today, the best of the best will go head to head. We need to kind of condition mid fights to force them stuck two, three every round here. Let's go, guys. Sentinels versus Carmine Park. Second versus Martin. Yo. 
it up because we think it's kind of some heat. If you last time you was on A, I think we'll We set our sights here on to split. Shoot oh! oh my second! If of course if they fight, of course we need to do something. Sentinels leading the charge! Guys, we lose our rounds. It's just on us. It's all, all on us. We yeah. fight back together. One, two, three. Get in. Stay in the present. Forget what happened, okay? Great. No, no. Oh! Yes! no chance. Sentinels have done it. Technicians, I think they can go now. If you want to go now, I mean, the team is, the team will have to go anyway. And then we do it. Okay, man machine, we have press. Hello everyone, welcome to the press conference. We are joined by Carmine Corp. What do you think went wrong within your team that led to the loss today? Not much, I would say. Like I think it was just overall like everyone wasn't like on we're not in like our best form, I would say. And that's just kind of it. We should have won these runs. We just the chaos just came on. I think why we were so upset after the game against Sentinels. Uh, I feel like we set too high standards for ourselves. After kickoff, we should have focused again on learning, not winning. And against Sentinels, we wanted to win this game. Uh, we wanted to show that we are capable of competing against one of the best teams in the world, if not the best team in the world, right? And that's why when you wanted to win and you lose, uh, like you kind of, oh yeah, you're upset, you're disappointed. Also, you know, I always saying to my teammates that you need to understand how to lose. Many, many, many players, uh, especially rookie players, as a, in our team, every loss is kind of it, it, it hits you. It hits you so hard. Guys, uh, like heads up. I think uh, even though like we lost, it's still one of the like they are in form right now, and they, it's like they beat many good teams in NA. So yeah, they, are, they were better today. But it doesn't matter. Doesn't mean that uh, it made, like gives us less odds to go to the playoffs. I'll just say that like. I threw the fuck out of split like really hard. And I feel really bad about it. Like, I don't care. We have uh, like another shot. It's our first international tournament. Like, it's normal that you have emotions, but don't take it hard on yourself. You did already <coughs> insane job since the beginning of kickoff. Don't take this lose like like there is no like nobody to blame but us as a team. As I said, we are like we know that we are like not in our best form, and uh, we just need to like take take a step back and individually know what mistake we did. There will be matches or like uh, we lose for sure by or, like to, to like to the enemies because they are better or just to ourselves because we played bad. But it doesn't mean like it's the end of the road. So each lose, you gonna feel oh I, we could have done better or like oh we lost because we played bad. It's every loss, like, like there is going to be losses like, like this all the time and like the main thing is just to learn. I think the moment when you can be scared is when you lose something and you say, I cannot do better. That's the, the, the worst feeling in, on earth because you say, you, you think yeah, like exactly. you cannot improve. Like ask us one month ago, like what we like, I don't know, yeah, when we, when we, we again, yeah, 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 we are right now playing against Sentinels <laughs> for fucking uh, playoffs and we like really pretty, pretty close against them. Cyber sport and sport, it's all about fucking ups and downs. Right now, we kind of, we, we're going down, really. We, but, yeah, 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 it, it's always like this. You need to also understand how to lose. You need to understand that it's, it's absolutely normal. It's a competitive thing. If I lose, if I win, I don't, don't, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just always about like, just keep going. It's just always about like, I want to be better. That's it, really. I don't like to lose. If it's like a competitive thing and I can win it, I want to win it. Naray is crazy. That guy is insane. That guy is one of the best players. And every time I watch this guy play, he always does things and I'm like, how is this possible? How does he do this? I don't see anybody else do this, the, the things that he does. 
I started gaming like ever since I can remember. I was always playing like competitive games like Call of Duty. Since I had like a couple brothers, I was just super competitive. Every time I played a game and they were better than me at it, I just wanted to be better than them. My main interest was just playing competitive games and my parents, they provided a lot. They didn't think I was like wasting my time because I was still doing like all my school stuff, but it was definitely really hard to explain that there is a future in playing the video games. I always knew I had the talent, but it was just like the motivation. I played like a Counter-Strike season and after the Counter-Strike season, I just kind of stopped playing because I was like demotivated to play at the time because I had nothing really concrete to compete for, if that makes sense. But for me, I always knew that that's what I'm gonna do. Like I, there's no other option, no matter like what sacrifice I would have to make. I started playing Valorant in April of 2022. To be honest, I didn't really play too much of the game at the time. I had really bad internet. So in June, I got fiber internet. I like just played the game all day and I got rank one in like two months. It's gotta be insane post-match tweet. Like I gotta start drafting it like mid-match, you know what I mean? Aang, he has always told my agent that he wanted to steal me away from the other NA teams. I was trialing in European servers, so I was playing on like 100 ping, just lagging. He honestly, like, he outperformed most of the players, but like by far, like far, far. I remember I watched their games uh, when he played for Mad Lions, and uh, I was really impressed by his like creativity and the way how he is thinking. It's something different, like what he thinks, he says, not in toxic way, but it's in a developing way, no? No, the blind. But I was ready to blind Raptors. No, you weren't. It's not your fault. It's his fault. That's what I was saying. But I thought I was. No, but that, that's annoying because I'm, I, you guys need to trust me when I say something, it's true. He's saying to go and you did not have your blind on at all. And, and he's throwing his eye and throwing his YouTube on a bad timing. What? That's his fault, not yours. That's why I told Magnum, he needs to ask if you're ready. He he's always there like to hype you up, uh, to trash talk the enemies, for, for example. He brings a lot as a, just as a person to the team. Marshall! He is that type of player that uh, can play any role if you just give him time. When I swapped to Flex, it was my first time ever like playing that role. I think I played well, but not up to where I want to like be. Il y a très peu de joueurs qui arrivent à aussi bien se placer que Narate. Quand tu regardes sa POV, tu as l'impression que ses duels sont faciles. Il est toujours bien placé au bon endroit pour faire les kills. You're fucking insane. I watched the bots. This guy's insane. I think everyone in this league respects him a lot. I think if you asked any other players, like, who they think is one of the best, they would definitely say him. He can frag, entry frag, he can clutch. Somehow, if Nare is alive, the round is not over. Nare is in V5. Not possible. Not possible, not Marshall. It leaves the rain alone. You know that you don't want to give this man too much. They're just throwing the inches. Oh, the NA found three in quick succession. Sitting back with it, he's found his fourth of the round. The ace just a ball. Oh, 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 an absolutely unbelievable play from Nare. If you're professional, you have to have mindset. Today you can be happy if you win. If you lose, like you can be like disappointed, upset. But next day you have to bounce back and be better. It's much easier to like focus on negative things than positive things. That's kind of the, the hardest thing in, in real life also. That's why, like for me, my expectations, we need to have even better memories than from Kiko. It's really, it doesn't matter, we win tournament or not. We just need to enjoy the, everything, enjoy every bad emotion, enjoy fear. Literally, it's maybe hard to understand for you now because you're all young, but guys, I really, understand that if you're able to see positives that's kind of uh, i would say the most important thing for me as a not as a coach as a human right now we need to enjoy this moment really and every game okay. welcome back to masters madrid bye Lotus Asta. Yeah. Both teams have a massive expectation to make it out of groups. Now they're in an elimination game. It's either them or Paper X for that last spot. This is it. Do or die now. Narei, can you do anything? Paper X! Claim map one. Oh, Martin! 
Carmichael are in the server. Map three unlocked. That is huge. everything, Magnum. That's everything they needed. Carmichael keeping this in their favor. Magnum playing with, oh, it's perfect. Magnum getting Casey up to 11. Forsaken, teed up and knocks them down. I can't believe they've tied this up. Shit can't do enough. Paper X gonna put themselves up to 12. Martin is absolutely activating here. The hero of the hour, the hero of Carmine Core, getting them up to 12. And of course, this game was going OT. Swing on in, Dubai stands and conquers Monnier, seals it. First in OT is Paper X's. And a punch to the gut of KC. Switching out to the shorty, it's Dubai and Forsaken, racking up bodies. They've held them back, they're on the verge. I can't believe it. Paper X beating. Carmine Core. Heartbreak for KC. The shining stars of EMEA gave it their all today. If you are professional, if you're hungry, you always you respect your enemy, but at the same time you just think you are better than them and that's why we are saying professions oh we kind of we should have played much better or blah 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 something like it's not because we're disrespecting enemies it's because of it's more for our psychological side you know of course if you lose it means that enemy team uh, were, were better but also at the same time you need to find the positives and you need to find uh, these scenarios where you could win this game I see positives in many ways right now. This loss against Paper X, we kind of, we got it much easier. We were of course upset, but at the same time, I see in our eyes, we kind of, we could win this game. And I feel like uh, that's the most important experience that we got here. Like how to lose. You, you shouldn't be afraid of, you know, losing. Like it, it's part of our game. Every game, I feel like we played better, better and better. And we showed, to the world that we can compete against top teams and for us and for me like a head coach uh, right now my main goal is to find the way how to be better than we were in kickoff Let's start with uh, uh, defense. Uh, we're gonna play one v one like this. As a player, you know, if you don't make it, you lose. You're going to spend all that time feeling like, I'm going to come back, I'm going to get my revenge, I'm going to work harder than ever because that feeling of missing out is just crushing. So when you have nine other teams doing that and you've gone to an international tournament where you've had to prep for a whole different set of teams, I think it's super, super hard to come back into this region. And I honestly think that the teams that had time to prepare came in with new things, came in feeling a bit more fresh. And I think KC probably suffered a, a little bit in that first stage. You know, I feel like, you know why, when, when you can do this first plan? If, let's say, they have mass ultimates, Kyoru or whatever, let's say, whatever ultimate, but you don't want to find anything because of what's oh, you can have fun. You can just, just mention that you're not running, and if you have like... We didn't really have a lot of time to prepare for this tournament just because we were at Madrid. But you always want to try things. You don't want to just play like standard every single time because if you just keep playing standard, then it's just like you're eventually just going to be readable. And we thought that we could just play different comps and be better. It's just hard to know if that was a good decision or not because of we kind of a bit exhausted because we have lack of uh, day offs. To be honest, I would like to have more to just reset everything in our mind. But because it's very condensed schedule, we just have to come back earlier. Once the season starts, I mean, we barely get any breaks. We're jumping from tournament to tournament. There's new maps that come out. There's new agents that come out. If you don't have time to prepare for that, I think it can get really, really difficult. It's like refreshing, you know, we play different comps, we play different maps, we play different stuff. Just bored, I guess, cuz. Mm -hmm. Sorry, boys, you? Yeah. Nothing is like boring me, it's just like I don't really like, oh, I, do I want to do this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm like indifferent to everything. How can we respond to all that? Okay. So when you communicate an emotion, just tell the others how they can help you to, to, to do that. If they cannot do anything, just tell them, you cannot do anything, I will manage it by myself. I don't want to set some really, really strict goals. Just guys, we need to achieve this, 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 because of it's game and you know, I don't know how we're gonna like react to some like losers or wins. Of course, uh, we want to qualify again and play in front of crowd and blah, blah. We like this LAN environment. Players really want to represent me again and want to show that they are capable of playing against like strong teams. Let's yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Adapt. If they say like, guys, we just fucking like... Yeah, we're gonna adapt on yeah. the... Because I feel like if we win, we just feel we will not feel yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Not if we, because this situation I also... I think there were, maybe there was a slight level of disrespect coming into kickoff. Maybe teams didn't fully take KC super, super seriously. But I think that was not the case after Madrid. I think coming to stage one, teams were like, we cannot underestimate KC. They are a very, very good team. We have to prepare well. We have to, you know, take it seriously and so on and so forth. So I think a mixture of that kind of led to a pretty heartbreaking moment, I think. I think right now we, we are like in a comfortable area. We are like in the top one of our group. Us having the experience from kickoff and Madrid helped a lot, so it felt different than the first time we stepped on the stage. To be honest, I don't even think we played that great against Giants. They were still managing their own, I think. Against uh, Foot, we started pretty well, but then we played bad and they just like conquered like in our mistakes basically. Then against Gentle Mates, I felt we were like controlling like every part of the game. We threw a little bit, uh, they took like three rounds in both maps, but then we just finished. Uh, right now we are 2-1. We have like really strong opponents, uh, Naki, uh, Core and Diretics. We are prepared and we are really confident to play against those three teams. I think Navi, they're a really strong team. They're even better than they were like, in kickoff. And I think it's good. I think we, we are going to give everything. So we have to win. This is probably the most exciting matchup, I have to say, of, of the, the week. week. There are not that many points up for grabs. You want to get the championship points, you want to make playoffs. What? Every yeah. single game matters. No, 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 no. There's only one question left. Is Navi's flawless run going to keep on going? Or are we going to see KC put a stop to it here? We're kicking things off on bind. Defensive side for Navi. The trade's back though from Martin and the rate is fantastic. Leaving things on to just one Martin, attempting to try and do it. Oh, he's going to take down the final player of Arnis as well. Huge round from Martin. Did they see Sagetsu? It doesn't look like it. The reactions aren't there just yet. The flash has caught him. It delays him a moment and he goes down. Martin even found the kill on the zip and with the showstopper. Navi now on a serious back foot. Good paranoia. He can't do much about it on the side of Navi. Already a, a solid attacking half for the side of KZ. And you have to bear in mind, this is the pick of Navi. Guys, also, we have a very good reads. We just in the hurry all the time. Orville Strike draws their eye. And now here's the opportunity for Tamazi. So low on HP, but Narain capitalizes as they look to trade. Now, I don't know how Tamazi got the second one. Still on 24 health. Yeah, I, I think he's given up at this stage. 12 seconds, otherwise the map is done. And it is dusted. KC will take their opponent's map choice. Guys, nothing happened. We play our first map now. We start from the beginning, okay? Yes, we cannot forget that we are in the same boat together, okay? I always remember about that, okay? One, two, three, KZ! This is the week where you'll come out of it with a good idea. Are we one away from making it through, or are we in that danger zone? They maybe have given it up, they're rotating, but no, there's a judge close! The thing is though, Angel, he's actually gonna go pushing! He manages to get two of them! Snakebite on floor, but there's a gap, and they're on their way. Reveal up and over catch a few, in fact it catches most of them, good info to play off of, and great execution, Angel's got himself a triple, and he's not even gone down, 7 to 2, Tamazi grabs 2, but they still have to deal with Sagetsu, still have to drop this man, and he's got a double with a pit down, the spray will not catch the kill, Tamazi has 4 kills to try and claim this and he won't find it. Sagetsu closing it out. Fantastic play on Viper. A beautiful lurk and a beautiful game from Navi. There is one rule that I've always put to myself when I was a player is that I play with my strengths. And today what I felt on the two last maps is that we tried to play with our weaknesses. It was kind of like the beginning of like nerves. Like, on, like we would win the first map and then we would like 
we wouldn't be able to play the same in like the next two maps. C'est vrai que les deux défaites euh, durant la saison, elles ont fait plus mal qu'autre chose. Tu sentais déjà qu'il y avait peut-être euh, quelque chose euh, qui faisait problème. I feel like it shows not only that uh, something about this preparation, but also with our mental. Because we are always speaking about learning things, but I feel like we don't learn. We kind of playing really, really good, uh, like uh, one map, and then after a few mistakes, we just like bam. And you need to just understand, as you said, like what's your strengths, and maybe work on them more. Uh, it's to be honest, it's when the kind of things started, uh, like. Uh, I don't know, everything started uh, going wrong after, uh, like, after Navi, kind of when we lost uh, multiple times, again, our advantages in the rounds that we should have uh, closed. Do you think it's like right now what I think they have lacked? Well, it's like committing to their takes, you know? And I feel like we lost a lot of rounds because we, we feel like we need to be like heroes or something. We could have the best perfect macro of all the time, but if we can't like just do the basic shit where we just communicate with each other, then we'll never win. That's it. It's uh, really difficult to really understand how we should do it, like, how we should have of the course. best the good communication, how we should work in synergy, but that's the little thing we need to figure out because it's what makes the biggest difference in the team. So Usually in a team there is always like a guy uh, which is experiencing the stress way way differently than the others, but in this team we are all on the bad side that uh, we got really impacted by, by the stress. Le stress, c'est pas quelque chose qu'on cherche à annuler ou qu'on cherche à supprimer. Le stress, c'est ce qui nous permet d'être actif. Dans cette situation-là, euh, ce qu'on va chercher à faire avec les joueurs, c'est comprendre ce qui a déclenché ce surplus de stress nécessaire à être bien et à être, bon, à être concentré au bon moment, au bon endroit. Qu'est-ce que je me dis À quoi je pense Comment je peux me rendre compte de ces pensées, de ces idées, de et prendre conscience de ces choses-là pour prendre du contrôle dessus Je sais pas, là, je t'avoue que si je l'avais, je l'utiliserais. Il faut qu'on comprenne exactement ce qui s'est passé pour que la prochaine fois que ça arrive ou qu'une situation similaire arrive, le joueur il ait une solution sur laquelle on a déjà travaillé en amont et donc il a juste à, de manière presque automatique, à suivre son instinct là-dessus et ça va revenir. Il y a vraiment eu ces deux mondes-là qui se chevauchaient, qui, dès qu'on gagnait, ça commençait à repartir en mode « Ah voilà, c'est la, la Rémi Moon, la lune de miel euh, qu'on voulait » et à l'inverse, I don't want to say, guys, don't react, be always positive, it's hard, you know, I know and you know, but what I really want from each of you, if you have these, like, thoughts, just fully reset, concentrate on game, try your best, guys. at this aspect, that's what I want. Là où la, la jeunesse et l'inexpérience a fait, à certains moments, qu'on s'est dit, ah, il y a ce plafond de verre qu'on n'arrive plus euh, à dépasser, et du coup, les joueurs eux-mêmes, euh, des forces qui pensaient être en eux, ou qui pensaient les définir, se sont finalement révélées être des faiblesses. When you are winning, everything is easy, but then you start losing and you are trying to find answers and the more you try to find answers, the more you kind of drown. On arrive contre, contre Fnatic à un match de la qualification de Shanghai. Every single round they had the first goal, every single round they had the first goal. It was relentless, it was crazy advantages. On perd, on se trouve deux gros scores qu'on mettait, donc il y avait 9-3 et 8-4. Et ensuite en défense, on n'arrive plus à mettre un rond. Since last year, within the region, the bar has risen. I think Casey have been a huge part of that. They're a team that definitely deserves their plaudits. But today, the better team won. Fnatic with the comeback on the first map. The way that they lost to Fnatic, that's the kind of stuff that keeps you up at night. If I just didn't swing, if I just won that one clutch. If we let that match influence our way of playing tomorrow, then we're good. So you just go from, oh, we are five rounds away from qualifying and then you go home and less than 24 hours you come in and you're fighting for elimination. Et ensuite on joue contre foot et euh, là je pense c'était un peu euh, un peu mental breakdown. We got absolutely destroyed like we, we just were not like ready to win that game I would say. The viewers they see the camera right the camera goes to the winners you're happy happy you don't really see the losers but I'm always standing in the corner I see everything and just how devastating that was for them. Since I'm a kid, I always wanted to win everything in life. I grew up like in a, in a country that uh, football, it's like uh, the biggest thing. And like, I, when I watch like football matches in the, like, the stadium, it's like, I'm, I love watching them because I just want to one play one day in the arena, like in the stage with these like environments. And then it gives you a lot of motivation. And when you kind of feel it, it's like, I don't know, it's like amazing feeling. For me, it's kind of something unique. 
I just want like to win and be better and costs a lot. It's it's not only like yeah I want to win. It's like you give a lot of things in your life away and like you have like bad mental phases. Like you have a lot of bad moments. We gotta remember these are kids. Some of them just turned 18. You know they 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 have to deal with a million things at the same time. It's uh, a challenge and an experience that. Like no one in the world will have it because you face so much stuff, you live outside, I know it's so many things and people, no one is aware of that and then what people say is like when you win or when you lose. Oh, il y a eu des journées où, où on est on arrivé le matin en se disant ok, ça va être une grosse journée à passer et euh, tout le monde va peut-être pas en sortir un il faut qu'on soit là pour, pour passer cette étape là parce que tout le monde en sortira grandi c'est sûr. It's not just like you turn up once a week and you play. It's 10 hours, 12 hours, every single day. And you invest everything into this. You, you sacrifice a lot. You want to win, you just want to win so bad. But unfortunately, only one team can win. C'est ça d'être un joueur professionnel à ce niveau de jeu sur une saison complète. Ça ressemble à ça, c'est pas juste arriver sur scène, un drop 30, 30 kills sur une map et dire ah, je suis le meilleur prospect de cette année. Être capable d'être vraiment fort quand c'est pas vraiment facile en fait. Il y a eu des émotions, il y a eu des conflits, et ça nous rappelle nous aussi en tant que staff qu'on travaille avec des gars qu'on bah, pas 20 ans quoi. Je respecte énormément le, ce qu'ils font parce que c'est énormément de sacrifices qu'ils font. Et sur une, un moment de leur vie où bah, on a vécu des choses plus difficiles dans une vie du quotidien, mais on a vécu une vie beaucoup plus équilibrée aussi. Parce que à ce moment-là de leur vie, nous, on était à l'école, on était à la fac, on avait nos premiers jobs, on vivait dans un rythme normal de la société. Quand eux, ils sont en train de sacrifier cette partie de leur jeunesse pour être les meilleurs dans leur jeu. Being away from home, I think people have to be more empathetic about how hard it is, you know, for an 18-year-old kid to just be away from home for the first time, away from your family, away from your friends, living in a foreign country, maybe you don't speak the language, maybe you just met your teammates too, and you have to learn, you have to grow up very, very fast. Le fait justement de quitter cette, cette maison là où, où de base c'est elle qui t'a vu euh, des, enfin, aimer les jeux vidéo, c'est ton ordi avec lequel t'as as toujours joué pour aller vraiment dans des, dans des bureaux où t'as l'impression d'être un adulte, ça, ça met quand même une claque, notamment aux, aux joueurs les plus jeunes qui ont toujours habité avec leurs parents ou avec leurs leur frères et sœurs. C'est juste comme like, uh, like when I'm like at night, like we are all, like all the time together, and like when I'm go to my room, I feel like lonely. It's only that. Yeah, you don't sleep in your bed, you don't see your parents, your family every day. And like, I remember completely uh, in Madrid and uh, in my final to qualify for Ascension. When you see like, I mean your mom and your dad, like, after you like win trophies or like matches, it's like, I don't know, you just want to cry. When you don't see the results instantaneous, it's hard to do. Et c'est compréhensible, on essaie, on essaie toujours de se mettre dans leurs bottes, mais il faut aussi qu'on prenne du recul, nous, sur leur situation, parce qu'on n'a pas le droit d'être toujours facile avec eux. Si on leur facilite la tâche en permanence, ils ne construiront pas cette force euh, mentale et du coup cette euh, assurance dont ils ont besoin pour, tenir, euh, pour arriver au meilleur niveau. En fait. Either way, like, people, people played with, uh, more, like, with not that scared, you understand? And I think it was kind of because of that, because you, you keep spamming that. And you understand? And people believe on you. Yes, but you need to believe in yourself. No, but I know, but I'm not saying that. No, because I'm, you I'm want not to rely your uh, responsibility all on me, but I already have it here. All responsibility on me. All results on me. Like already. It's not, nothing changed. You just want to hear it uh, to just what? To just feel better? But in game, when the enemy fuck you again, you will, what, I need to pause again and say it again? No. That's the point, that you need to... You, I'm not a mom and uh, like father for you here who is like all the time, like it's like it's life. You need to sometimes, you need to overcome like uh, obstacles and some things. You already know I'm here for you. What I need to say? Like, uh, like it's, it's all about, it's words. Right now you need to act best.
The biggest tournament of the year, and the reason for the biggest tournament of the year is because it has the most teams going to champs. You know, it's the world trophy, it's 16 teams instead of 12, and that's what stage two was about. So la fin du split 1, c'était on avait vraiment de la fatigue qui s'était accumulée. Donc ne pas aller à Shanghai, c'était pour nous une chance de récupérer. We took like almost two weeks break. We fully reset. Main mindset was like enjoy the game again because like we just were burned out and we were like negative towards each other more and more. And when we came back, we started training and uh, to be honest, our prac win rate was even better than before kickoff. Uh, you know, we feel like uh, uh, energy, we feel that uh, we are ready. Today, uh, last day of practice, so I'm gonna check with uh, Riyad de la Sona need to see an individual. If something goes wrong, we cannot fall apart. We need to focus on the object. Right, am I right or am I right? Be good today and be together and keep the positivity. We had instant preparation, comps, uh, plans. We come, BVL. We show it. Welcome back to the Riot Games Arena. The shots on the sheriffs have been precise, and now the last one will land. The question is if they can deal with some of the closer positions. The right down below, able to isolate one, now looking for a second. He knows exactly where Elite is, but the numbers are kept even. Oh, Narate's good for the triple. Another spray coming through, and it is Elite that's going to be dropped inside the smoke. Narate was waiting, and he's even got a buddy. They don't know about him. Oh, this is a disaster. When he gets four kills with a note, Tom, you're gonna look very silly. Here he goes, that's the first, that's the second. It's Reezy left, and there's suppressive fire keeping him out of this swing. No denying that defuse, and 13 to six. I feel like we're really, really ready. Just don't be afraid of your power, guys. If they get it right, they could absolutely blitz BBL. Expectation is there, but as you said, Martin does not miss. That's gonna be it. This is getting cleaner and cleaner as the rounds go on, which is not a sign you want if you're a BBL fan. Eight to two now for KC. Blasting into A will be tough and indeed impossible. Unfortunately, still dead. Okay, it's a battle in the air. And Martin, what? This is absurd. Shin is looking to try and get this one. Four shots. He's got to try and do it. The confidence sky high for KC, and you can see why. All I'm going to say is I don't want to be the next team that faces off against KC. We felt like, oh, guys, it's us again. And I was like super confident. We were like, oh my god, like, we are being insane. We will destroy everyone, like in kickoff. We're still young, one of the youngest teams in all BCT, guys, uh, you know. But at the same time, I feel like. Uh, we shouldn't act like, oh, we're so young, we're like an experienced, blah, blah, blah. No, guys, right now, I feel like you can see like clearly that uh, if we play our game, like, uh, and transfer our game from practice to, scr uh, from scrims to fucking uh, official, I feel like no one can stop us. Since now, I feel like we need to just guys think, each of you should think about like yourself and our team, like we really team that want to win every, every fucking game. Like, who knows, we might not be on the same team next year. Who knows? There's not like, too much left. One month if we don't qualify, obviously, right? There, there's such little time and like such like long life, long career, whatever the fuck. Like we, this is like our time to just fucking go at it. Like don't care about anything else, just play the game. That's it. Guys, good job. Be proud. Be happy. Tomorrow you, uh, tonight you sleep well. Tomorrow you rest. Sunday, we go back on the on board. You know, sometimes you really, you don't understand like what's going on. The season being so tiring, I think you could see you're catching up on the people a little bit. Players that come from tier two, maybe they've never been in an environment where it's so intense. For some reason, we uh, under the pressure sometimes might uh, just play in not on our level, like at all. If they want to get that pressure through Garage, it's not going to be easy. Why not? And Darko just stands and delivers. Most of not going to see it. They've got to know that they're in the spot. They've got to know. They know everything. Most. Oh my god. Oh, no way in the lineup. It was a 1v3, now a 1v2. Hero down on good HP. 30 on Martin was never going to be enough. It was probably one of the most dominant, worst losses I think we saw of Casey. To be messed with. Oh, but he's been swung on. Perfect timing. Kiko seen him. It's the bonus as well. Do they still check on this? Do they still clear this? 
with the diligence they need to. They do. Enzo heads up. Three players. They've got to keep eyes on it. Flash. And say hello. It's going to be traded for Liquid. Is he going to go for the name, though? That's the question. 13 to 2. They must have had confidence going into it. And then you just get crushed, like, right off the bat. Like that, I think it's a little bit difficult to recover. Maybe in your mind, it's like, wait, what, what, what went wrong? Like, what actually went wrong? Quand fallait gagner, tout s'écroulait. Donc, euh, et en tout cas, arrivé dans la tête parce que le niveau là. Mais et tu regardes toutes nos défaites sur l'année. Au final, on a toujours eu les mêmes problèmes. Tu vois, on a juste perdu contre nos propres démons. Tu vois. Yeah, we just kind of got back to our old selves where we are losing to ourselves. People joke about like, oh, like GG go next. Forget about what happened yesterday. GG go next. But I don't think they understand how difficult it is to implement that. En fait, eux ont eu cette expérience de tout gagner avant de commencer à perdre. Donc forcément, t'es déçu et t'en n'oublie pas tes moments de gloire, mais t'essaies désespérément de t'y raccrocher en mode mais comment est-ce que je peux revenir à ce niveau-là? I don't know when you are in the in the stage like you you just starting to win and I don't know it's you couldn't anymore. Je dirais que ouais, ça a été vraiment euh, peut-être pas la pression du stage, mais euh, en vérité, si je pense que ça a été en vrai la, 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 la pression du stage, parce que euh, moi je sais de quoi on, on est capable en scrim, mais euh, en fait ça se voit juste aux rondes qu'on perd. Last year, I mean to put it lightly, everybody outside of I guess the KC fans, maybe even some KC fans, just didn't respect the team. L'année dernière, honnêtement, le, le soutien, je ne le comprenais pas trop. Being on the, the, the last roster he was on and the amount of backlash he got and the kind of disrespect and so on, it's not easy. It's not easy for him to one, stay, be, find the confidence again and believe in his new team and have to go into, kind of being sent into the wars because people are going to be looking at this team again and be like, why, why did Shin stay after the performance last year? Il y avait quand même très peu de chances que que je reste plus ou moins après l'échec de la saison dernière. Évidemment, il a fallu refaire ses preuves, j'ai pas été euh, chouchouté, on va dire. It's nice to see him smile, you know. Because last year it was just it was just full stress. It was a lot of stress. Um, he didn't seem he was he looked tired whereas this year uh, he has his personality has really come out on stage when the cameras cut to him as well. He's always joking around smiling. Um, and that's been really endearing to see. Donc euh, c'était plus ou moins difficile et je pense que ça m'a permis de rester lucide et euh, de voir la chance que j'ai de pouvoir réintégrer ce roster. After the game against Liquid, we kind of um, were sitting with the guys and discussed what we need to change and what things we need to improve. Right now, we need to come back to our style, uh, to our things, and just uh, develop them as much as we can, and just try our best. Plus on va perdre de match, plus ça va être difficile de prendre du recul sur la situation et se dire, euh, bah, on se focalise pas sur le résultat, on se focalise sur euh, ce qu'on veut mettre en place pendant les matchs. When you keep losing your rounds that you understand, you should have won. It affects you in game. On ne peut pas cacher le calendrier de résultats à nos joueurs. Et d'ailleurs, il ne faudrait pas, parce que ça fait partie de leur apprentissage aussi, de vivre avec ça. Mais ce n'est pas magique. Quoi. Et on s'est un, un peu laissé emporter dans ce cycle de moins se concentrer sur nous-mêmes, mais plus se concentrer sur les autres. Ce qui a fait la différence sur la fin, c'est qu'on a vraiment utilisé les jours de match comme les jours d'entraînement de, et d'apprentissage. On joue euh, Vitality. Celle-là aussi, elle fait, elle fait très mal parce que si tu perds, tu joues T6, tu joues forcément contre Fnatic. Malheureusement, c'est un, un match qu'on perd. Ensuite vient les playoffs. On arrive contre Fnatic. Our goal today is be present. I feel like an official. So don't think about our past matches against uh, Fnatic. Don't think about uh, too much about the future. Think about what's like in front of us. I feel like it's the most important thing. I want to be in control of our fucking destiny, right? I don't want to qualify based on fucking points, all right? So today we're fucking winning. I don't care about the pressure. I don't care about anything. That's what we want. We want the pressure, okay? And if we don't have the fucking pressure, what does it matter? If there's no pressure to win. Okay, what's the point of competing? What's the point of coming there and going on the fucking stage, all right? You gotta let it happen. <laughs> One, two, three! So, I'm gonna express myself right now. To be honest, 
Uh, I don't know what to say first time. I'm nervous, I'm excited, so many emotions inside me. I hope you're feeling the same because it's kind of do or die and nothing to lose, blah, blah, blah. It's many emotions, many thoughts in your head right now. But guys, accept your emotions and control them, okay? And remember one thing, you creators of your destiny. Guys, you need to scream from your lungs. One, two, three, yes, yes. Heading into the season, kickoff looked great, won that as well. Afterwards, it started to look a little bit like you lost your identity. I just want to show our real face today. <laughs> Remember what you said. The last two times you faced off against them, they did win. You guys didn't even win a map against them. Like I feel like in many situations, you need to keep in mind, we better than them. Is that enough, Casey, doing their thing to be Fnatic doing their thing? I mean, the talent is there. There's no <laughs> doubt about that, right? We know what the team can do. They've had such a rough season. They, they are one of the most up-and-coming teams that we saw at the start of the year. It's good to get glimpses of that, have those little reminders of how dangerous this team was. If we keep like this, if we never give up, we are going like really far. We are here for the long run. We cannot be hostages of our past. I want to be in control of our fucking destiny, right? So today, we're fucking winning. The buy is broken, it's shattered, it's Guardians, it's Stingers, it's Sherish, but there's ults. Marty, can only do so much. Alpha. Alpha. He's still alive. Alpha. Oh, he's got three! And now it's down to Shin and Narate to try and hold on, to keep hopes high, but most Poster. of the points is Van. That's Narate down and it's all in one man's hands here. The test to see if you're worthy of champions, to see if you can take those steps. And this sounds like a fail here for Garmin Core. Vu qu'on a raté notre chance de se qualifier nous-mêmes, on devait attendre que Vita, enfin les résultats de Vitality, il devait perdre deux games pour qu'on puisse se qualifier. Et euh, malheureusement pour nous, <coughs> ils ont réussi à, à gagner la première. In the end, the goal of every tier on play is to play champions, uh, and uh, we couldn't make it. And it's like, I don't know, it's just, you just feel empty inside, to be honest. So, we're va tous regarder les champions en disant qu'on aurait pu y être. Et pour les joueurs, ça va être une première pour eux, pour la plupart, de se dire, bah ouais, j'étais à deux matchs d'y aller, donc ça va pas forcément être facile. I feel sad, disappointed as a team. We had like higher potential, but um, we just couldn't prove it. Honestly, losing now wouldn't hurt as much if we didn't win kickoff, right? Uh, I think, like, we all know that we could have been, like, a really insane team. On voyait bien qu'il nous manquait vraiment peu de choses, mais voir qu'il nous manque peu de choses, c'est identifier le peu de choses qu'on a à travailler, du coup, pour, pour passer l'étape suivante. I think one of the biggest challenges for KC as a team coming to this year is regain the respect that they lost last year. And, my goodness, if that was one of the goals, They've smashed it. I, I don't. I cannot imagine anybody else right now that disrespects this team. So I think they should be very proud of themselves. We knew our chances. We knew our potential, but we just didn't fulfill it completely. But I feel like we learned a lot throughout the year, even though it wasn't the brightest year. And I think it was probably one of the most valuable years of my life. So I'm thankful for it. Contrairement à la première année que j'ai eu en VCT, c'était vraiment le jour et la nuit en termes de Évidemment, de, déjà des résultats, parce qu'on a, 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 a su performer quand même. Et euh, ce qui est sûr, c'est que j'en retirerai pas euh, des fétiches de cette année. Quoi. Tout le monde dit que cette année, on a énormément participé au lead de la méta, tu vois. Et de ce qui se fait, de ce qui se joue, de comment tu bouges en défense. Tu vois, on a été énormément leader sur la méta cette année. C'est un truc dont je suis fier quand même, tu vois. You need to always kind of aim to be like one of the best. Uh, and we were, at some point, we were. We used like a lot of our insane strats and like showed off like the new meta pretty much. We were these guys like trying like everything and we just played our game. We had no fear, that was the most important. Évidemment, après en termes d'équipe, je pense que le kickoff c'était quelque chose de spécial. 
Euh, on, on avait tous un, un certain truc qui, qui, qui nous boostait. Et, euh, et vraiment, c'est un souvenir que j'oublierai jamais. Euh, je pense la victoire du kick-off. C'est ouais, quelque chose que, que j'oublierai pas, je pense. Just the, the winning moment against Fnatic. It just felt so good. I don't know when you see like Magnum crying, me like started crying, like it was, it was amazing. I just wanted to go back and like even celebrate more. J'espère que bah, cette année on a pu entre guillemets redorer le blason et prouver qu'on pouvait faire quelque chose. On va continuer à travailler et essayer de faire encore mieux, encore mieux pour le futur parce que de toute façon c'est que c'est cet objectif là. Chaque fin de saison, j'ai toujours ce, en fait, ce même ressenti, ce même mot qui vient à chaque fois, c'est juste, juste merci. Et désolé pour, euh, pour les résultats en dents de cette année, euh, malgré le bon start. Euh, je pense que c'était la bonne chose qu'on a su vous donner cette année. Mais euh, j'espère que vous avez kiffé nous suivre et, euh, et voilà. Thank you.